Today in our mini messages, the brothers make it home from Egypt, and it's uh, not exactly a pleasant reunion. So let's look at six verses today, uh, starting in verse 29 of Genesis chapter 42. It says, When the brothers came to their father, Jacob, in the land of Canaan, they told him everything that had happened to them. The man who was governor of the land spoke very harshly to us, they told him. He accused us of being spies scouting the land. But we said, We are honest men, not spies. We are twelve brothers, sons of one father. One brother is no longer with us, and the youngest is at home with our father in the land of Canaan. Then the man who was governor of the land told us, This is how we'll find out if you're honest men. Leave one of your brothers here with me and take grain for your starving families and go home. But you must bring your youngest brother back to me. Then I will know you are honest men and not spies. Then I will give you back your brother, and you may trade freely in the land. As they emptied out their sacks, there in each man's sack was the bag of money they had paid for the grain. The brothers of their fathers were terrified when they saw the bags of money. Now remember, they already knew there was one bag of money that was returned, but apparently they didn't realize that there were all the bags of money were returned for the grain. So now they could be accused of being thieves. They would have no more access to the food in Egypt. What would happen to their brother Simeon? And so this is just, once again, horrifying. And I love what they say here. We are honest men. He accuses us of being spies. Verse 31, but we said we are honest men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real honest guys, right? Real honest guys. Go back and read some of the stories that Judah about Judah. Go back and read about, um, I believe it was, um, Simeon and Levi. Uh, and what they did uh, when um, the, the daughter of um, Jacob is Dinah. Dinah was raped. Go back and read about that. Yeah, they were real honest guys. So this is a very dysfunctional family. The, the families of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are all extremely dysfunctional when you go back and read through the book of Genesis. So it should really kind of give us some hope for our own families, right? We all have some little bit of uh, dysfunctionalness in our families on some level. None of us are perfect. And if God can take and use these families with some of the broken issue, broken relationships and issues that they had, God can still use us. But this is a terrifying situation here. These brothers, again, repeated the lie, safe saying they were honest men. They repeated the lie to Jacob about one of their brothers no longer being with them, talking about he was dead. They had no reason to believe Joseph was dead. They sold him into slavery. Joseph may very well have been alive, but they say he's dead. They don't know that. So they're lying right there. So once again, the truth is eluding them. And God is still working through all of these things to bring this family back together, not only bring it together, but to bring these brothers to a place of deep repentance so that this family won't just be together, but this family can be restored. And we'll hit, the, hit that up later and talk about it some more. See you soon.